Cricket Cricket is a bat and ball game played between two teams of 11 players. The most basic components of the game of cricket are a bat and a ball. While the bats have undergone a substantial transformation over the years, the balls have more or less remained the same. You must know how these balls and bats are made. So today we will show you how balls and bats are made inside the factory. Welcome to Shad Kohor and if you are new then subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't miss out our any videos. Cricket balls is especially used in processed leather which is mainly from Bangladesh. The thickness of this leather is between 6 mm and 4 mm. The ball makers dry and compress the leather down to a thickness of 2 mm to 3.5 mm. To make the ball, an experienced worker cuts the leather for coating on the top of the ball. The leather is then cut with a elliptical dies. A cricket ball consists of a cork core wound with string then a leather cover stitch on and manufacture is regulated by cricket law at first class level. The elliptical leather is shown together by hand. The next step is to attach the pieces of leather with needle and yarn. The top layer of the ball is made by placing two pieces of leather into a semi-circular mold and cutting the extra leather with a sharp blade. Cork cores are made on the other side of the factory. Two more elliptical cork are added for core with pressure and glue, which look a bit like a tennis ball. With a rolling machine, twist the yarn on the tennis cork. The cork with a yarn is inserted into the semi-circular leather. The top two layers are then shown with hands and instruments Later, an experienced worker sweat the needle on the ball again so that the ballers could give a good performance in the field. Thus, a total of 6 stitches were given on both sides. See on either side. The appropriate hand spire ball shape is then pressed into a mold of 8.8 .8 to 9 inches in circumference. On the cricket ball, the seam is rotated 90 degree to give a cherry red color to the wound. And to make sure there is no uniform shape. The logo is placed on the ball. When this is done, the balls are sent for polishing. And the leather of the ball is polished with fire and a synthetic grease. They protect the ball from wet condition so that it doesn't get too wet. Weight and size are then measured. Now the ball is ready to play. 
cricket bat. Cricket bat willow is a cultivated timber which predominantly grows in a large plantations in wetlands areas throughout England mainly in the southeast. The bat is less than 38 inches in length and less than 44.25 inches wide. It was first used in 1624. The original shape of a cricket bat is cut using a table saw. About halfway up the front of the cricket bat there is a raised peak which looks like a small hill. The back is left flat. Rub it with a polishing machine to smooth it. The bat will need to be compressed to straighten the willow fiber with a scarf iron machine of the as a bat blade. Around 2000 pounds of a strong pressure is placed around the bat. The handle is then made with a strip of can and rubber. The lower portion of the handle is cut into a wedge shape. The reverse of which is then carved into the blade of the bat using a band saw. The staff made the handle according to the size of the bat. Carve the blade using a draw knife so that it is perfect balanced. Glue the handle in place so that the top edge extends a teeny bit above the front face of the blade. And leave it to dry overnight. The beds are sent one more time to saw to create the perfect structure. Extra part of the bed blade are cut with a CNC machine. Bat is further polished with a hand cutter and polishing machine. The worker makes the handles more smooth. A rolling machine is used to thread the yarn into the handle. Finally, brush sanders are used to give a beautiful smooth finish. The bat is then ready for labeling, wrapping and knocking in. Every bed also receives a final check over the ensure that it has been finished to a high standard and that there are no previously unspotted imperfections. The bed is finished and ready to grace cricket grounds around the world.